So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fifth tutorial for Ionic Framework. And in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the basic file structure which Ionic provides us when we started with the tabs as the boilerplate. So if we take a look right here, you can see that we have a hell lot of folders right here with hooks, node modules, resources, SRC and www. Now mostly we would be just working with the source folder but we would need to work with this resources, Android and iOS as well. Once we are you know kind of just done with the main application and we are looking to enhance the application by adding the icons, the launcher icon or any kind of other resource you want to add to a specific platform. So right now if you take a look inside the source folder inside this index.html file this would be the file which would be served to the browser right now on this uh, local development server and I on app this component <coughs> is responsible for showing your application again this is all angular 4 stuff going on here and finally if you take a look at this app and this app modules you could see that this would be the actual main module file of angular which is presented to the browser and again this is just a similar thing which you would have seen in angular 4 applications as well and by the way if you are not comfortable with angular 4 right now i have the link in the description which is another youtube playlist for angular 4 on this channel only and you can refer to that and uh, you would be able to get a taste of it and how to work with angular a little bit at least so yeah again so you can see that we right now have home about and contact as the tabs and uh, inside declarations where our components would and directives would go we have this about page contact page home page tab suites hmm. so something is going on here we have this page thing attached to every of this component. So Angular or actually Ionic consists of something known as pages and you can create a page something like this only and present it as a tab or maybe as an overlay or anything like that. So Ionic makes use of this concept of pages which we're going to take a look later on not right now. So again, we are importing the browser module for making use of the browser only, the browser APIs, because that's what pretty much Ionic does. And then we are making use of this Ionic module dot for root, which would be used to customize our Ionic application. If we want to customize, we can just pass in an object in here. We're going to take a look at that as well as we develop applications with Ionic. Then we are bootstrapping the Ionic. And again, these this entry components is something similar which we have seen right here inside declarations. Now the reason for this is that uh, Angular pretty much would not know when your page is kind of switched or, you know, if you are performing any sort of other action like displaying a page as an overlay so <clears throat> ionic was not would not implement this thing for <clears throat> the declarations that angular would uh, come to know about a component is changed or updated so Ang ionic what it does is that it tells angular to keep these components ready in use so that we can actually make use of these components anytime and angular does not uh, you know take some time to actually load that into the memory then we have some providers here again which we would take a look at later on in the series when we add some things like uh, uh, maybe like login so we would add a user service here inside providers so yeah that's pretty much it for the module part and we can see in the component we have this root page or the root page any which is just a tabs page and what this tabs where this root page is used is inside this app.html so this ion navigation is basically responsible for showing this whole stuff and uh, we are binding to this the root property as root page so if we take a look what this root page is um, right here inside our app component you would see that we are assigning this root page to the tabs page and then finally if we take a look what this tabs page is inside pages tabs you can see that we it consists of all the tabs home about and contact right here so if we go to home home.html which is the first page being shown to us you can see that we have nailed it down to the 
code which is responsible for the output so we are gonna say instead of welcome to ionic let's just say welcome to ionic version 3 and uh, this is gonna be awesome something like that hit save and it has hot freeloading on so you can see that we get the output as welcome to ionic version 3 and this is gonna be awesome so again our home is home.html is just the home page and uh, you do not need to worry a lot about this uh, pages sort of thing because we're gonna take a look later on how to work with them and there are a lot of other things with ionic as well we're gonna not go into all those things at one go because that might be a little bit um, overwhelming we're gonna just take a look at the things we would require as we build applications with ionic and it would be pretty much similar with uh, uh, angular as well so yeah that's all for this one and uh, if you liked it again then please don't forget to subscribe and i have my link in the patreon as uh, my link in the description for patreon as well so you might want to check that out as well so that is all for this one and uh, again see you then in the next one